We have the Low Spin Rogue ST Triple Diamond. This thing looks like a beast. So it's a 450 head shape, slightly smaller. It's got all the tech that Rogue's got, which we'll talk about, but bling de bling de bling, triple my diamond. Shall we see what this one can do? Let's get diamonding. So anyone who's seen any of my Rogue videos, this has got very similar tech. If you haven't seen my Rogue videos, basically we get a classic Rogue shape. It's off silver face, dark top. Little bit of graphite comes through, gold around the back. We get technology in the back here, very big stabilizing weight to try and increase MOIs. We get a new version of jailbreak in here. We've got the AI face as well. And the AI face, they're saying, is working on spin as well as speed. So they're trying to maximize what spin you get from different parts of the face. So obviously different parts of the face, the ball spins at different amounts. We'll talk about that a bit more. And it's a 450 head shape, so it does look smaller down by the ball, but it looks absolutely gorgeous. And it feels rogue delicious. Like with all the rogues, I've said it in Callaway, since they've started using AI in their design, the sound is so unique to Callaway in a good way. Oh, it feels solid. And I tell you, this thing feels like an absolute rocket. I'm looking forward to seeing the numbers because some of the early numbers coming through are impressive. That Callaway Rogue sound, it's similar in the Epic. It's kind of a combination of a graphite-y sounding clutch, so that duller sound, as well as that firm kind of titanium feel. It's a funny mix. It's really unique in a really nice way. And it has to be said, the Rogue looks at the moment are kind of as good as anything. Wow. Oh, that's a low spin bomber. I'm gonna hit a few more. Let's see what Callaway is saying exactly about the tech on this club. So this is one of four heads. Yes, four heads with Callaway. Increased speed, stability, high MOI from the new tungsten speed cartridge. Very visible here. They painted it gold just in case you didn't know it was there at the back. It's gonna help with forgiveness off center hits. Stability and speed from Jailbreak Speed Frame. The AI, AI design Jailbreak Frame provides stability in horizontal torsion direction. We've speed tuned the construction. So that's hidden, you don't see that in there. And then the new AI face, we see this in all the robes for low spin and increased forgiveness. So the industry leading in artificial intelligence, we've added launch and spin to ball speed in our optimized formula. New formula allows lower spins on the face, allowing us to add forgiveness to the driver. Stability from the unibody construction, and it's a tour proven triple diamond head design. So obviously I reckon tour players are just asking for that really low spinning bombing club. How low spinning this will be? Well, we will show you. I'm not seeing crazy low spin at the moment, but it is a very flat, good looking flight that I can see at the moment. We obviously get the changeable neck in this club as well, which we've seen in Callaway for a long time for your fit to dial it in for you. And when it comes to uh, maximizing the face, obviously Taylor May do it. I mean, every company, Strix and Titleist, they're all talking about trying to maximize face because if you hit out the low, it tends to spin higher, out the top, lower. Out the toe, it can curve more left. Out of the right, curves more to the right. As a general rule, not always the way. Um, so trying to do stuff within the rules help you get the most out of miss hits, which we all hit. Uh, they're saying they're doing loads of that. Again, this is all controlled, what they can do with the face as well. So how much you'll see that play through, like with any company, I'm not sure. Caught that slightly toey. It does feel stable, and that's a very anecdotal statement. I've said that a lot in videos, so I've done tests on MOI. It's very hard to actually find, but even when I catch it out the toe, it feels relatively stable. So what I mean by that is when I miss hit it, I don't see loads of curvature. I do on some shots, depending on the complexities of my delivery and the strike all mixed together. But there's some strikes I hit and I just think, oh, that has stayed straighter than I was expecting it to go. How much of that is my feel to reality? Like I say, it's almost impossible to measure and I've tried. Got a little fun game coming after the numbers with Coach Lockie as well, because he's interested in trying this club. So stay tuned for that. I'm feeling quite fast today. And I know he's a little bit dad broken at the minute. So do you reckon we could take him in the comments? Do you reckon I could get past him today? Oh, hit like that I might. Little bit fady. And that's something about this club as well. I mean, I can toe draw it still as good as anyone, but it does feel a little bit anti-left. It does feel set up for a slight fade bias. These are all patterns that 
often good players are looking for. Just gonna hit two more shots to get my shot count up to 25. Let's have a look at some data to see exactly where we are with this club. Doesn't feel any different to any of the other rogues, which is a good thing, I wouldn't want it to, but it does obviously present smaller down by the ball. And then the visual shapes of the shots look more, they just feel and look bomby. Right, one more, and what's the data gonna show? At the moment, I'm around 275. 272, 275 average carry. It'll be interesting to see if I'm squeezing anything more out of this. Oh, rocket. And I'm not moving it the fastest I've ever moved it. I've got a 60 gram shaft in this. It came with a 75 gram shaft. Now, if you wanna see me do a video comparing, say a 75 gram shaft to a 60 or even a 50 gram shaft, let me know in those comments down below. I'll do it. Um, when I picked up the 75 gram shaft, I felt like I could move it, but it just felt like it might take me a long time to get it moving. So the reason I go lower in the weight is I use a 46 gram shaft, so really light, because I feel I can just move that fast from the beginning of a day's golf and even at the end. So when you're warming up to when you're fatiguing, I feel like I can sustain speed. Um, so it doesn't mean that I couldn't hit the 76 or five gram shaft, I reckon I could. It just means why do I want to work or bother taking that much longer to do it? Apart from adding more weight, might add a little bit more weight to the overall club and then in turn it might improve smash a fraction more. The complexities of shafts are interesting and so player specific. Let's look at these numbers. Is it actually a bomber or is it just what I'm feeling? Right, average ball speed, 159.7, standard deviation of 1.2, which is what I felt, launching around 12 and 13 degrees with standard deviation, spinning at 2.1, average carry 280, six yard standard deviation. So it would overlap standard deviation, I reckon, of my any other club that I've tested, but that is certainly on the longer side. But look at that spin. It's 100 to 300 revs lower than where I'm spinning it at the moment. It is, I mean, it's got crazy low spin. The days of 1.7 and 1.9 spin are gone, thank God for everyone, as that was a little bit of a thing that we all kind of got a little bit seduced with. That is definitely in the low spin rounds of clubs, but it's certainly not the lowest spinning. Oh, am I moving fast today? Is that why that's further? Because that is a little bit longer, is it not? So if we look at the club data, this is what's interesting. Average strike, not the best. I reckon there's more to get out of this club, but I'm only swinging at about 110, 109. Dynamic loft average in 16 degrees, smash at 1.46. It smashes up there. So I'm not having to move it as fast as I would move my club to get more out of it. And that's probably to do with the fact that this thing packs a little bit of a weight punch, certainly over what I play. Should we have a little game? Should we get coaching and see actually how I compare to someone who does generally it much further than me. At the moment, the looks are that great. I like the slightly smaller head. I think lots of people could even gain this club. The fact that it came with a 75 gram shaft made me giggle, because I do think it kind of confuses the issue a little bit, as in lots of golfers would be good enough to hit this club. And if you take 500 revs off some golfers, they might be slightly better players, possibly. Um, but they don't want it weighing 75 grams, because not everyone is built like the whole car, they? Game time, triple diamond, myself, Coach Lockie, hello, at Pebble Beach. We're going to do a strokes game driving competition. So distance and accuracy will be measured. And obviously we've got a big penalty area on the left side. Mark chooses to do strokes game because that's all we can win. <laughs> it's a fairer competition. <laughs> More realistic, Matthew. <laughs> Oh. Would you gain this one? I think I would, yeah. I, I think that that might would be going be the in, one. mightn't it? Yeah, yeah. I think I would out of the four. Stay right, stay right, yes. Oh, he's cut it a little I bit. I healed it. He's it's not going to be it long, but it's going to be very. Do I get extra points for being very central? It's not <laughs> long enough. <laughs> well, 2 8 spin, 1 5 8 carry on there. Total distance. Sorry, 1 5 8 ball, sorry. Uh, 284. Yes. Ooh. So that drive gained 0 0.09. Oh, come on. And I'm missing it. Oh, uh, you hate that the fairways are involved, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> I don't mind. <laughs> like, it's all good. I like you winning. You just want to do a, who can 
swing the club the fastest <laughs> game. Yeah, I'm not very good at that at the moment. <laughs> it Still is a lot smaller, planet. this, isn't it, I think? Like, see, it I, is don't, a... I don't see it that way, but I, not... mean, I think if you put it next to something, I think I would really see it. But when I put it down, I think there's enough club. Yeah. But, I mean, I, it's relative, isn't it? It to what seems a bit to... more squattier and deeper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and I know it is a 450cc head, so... It 10 is a bit... cc if you think about that in the realms of what yeah, you would I, I, see yeah yeah i i get that that's a good call but, but it, it is, does be... present looking a bit smaller and it definitely doesn't sit as closed as okay the others, and it does, does it? feel more fade bias yeah. like going to tow my next one into the water <laughs> here we go dippy toa <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it is oh, a bit dippy. Oh, in the water. Get, get there, yes! Hit the rock. No! <laughs> Smash! Oh. <laughs> That's a recovery shot. So I'm going to, so you need to hit another drive now. We can't work out your strokes gained until you hit another. Distance to pin, 173. Yeah, but. <laughs> if we were out on the course and we Oh, so you're going to drop it out. Yeah, don't, out. you're right. So you, yeah, I agree. So I'll put your. It would be a penalty, wouldn't it? Yeah, so you're 173. So I'm going to put you as like 175 because you wouldn't yeah. be going. Because yeah, of the same. angle, I reckon you're closer because you're yeah. going to have to come out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Once. I'm going to be hurt, whatever, aren't I? <laughs> so you're losing. Oh, no. Is this right? You're losing point zero. So 0 0.62. Yeah, that sounds about right. Over half a shot. But you should be, you've lit one in the water. That should be 1.62, shouldn't it? Well, I dropped two, three on the green, two putt par. Yeah, I guess you're right. Right. Oh. One six eight ball on the toe, look, that was. I know, that's disturbing me. I'll get a 170 if I get one out. You will. But will you get past my toey dipper fake read? That's the big question. Oh, I don't come back. Man. Oh, he's missed the fairway. <sighs> get out of the bunker. bunker. It's carrying the bunker. Oh, it is lucky. So that's a rough ball. It's not even very long. 158 ball, toad. 2 1 spin. So Mark has lost 0 0.23 so on I'm that one. I'm still gaining on two. Are you? Yeah, because I was gaining point. No. What was your I, I didn't think it was, it it was, was a point. point. Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm yeah, losing. You're not. You calm down. <sighs> Thing is, that, that toey dipper puts me on the back foot straight away. <laughs> and now I've got to go for it, which is going to... Well, this is an interesting question that I tried to address in another video about custom fitting. Yeah. Like, how many of you custom fit and react to a shot? The general rule of thumb when people are getting custom fit, certainly in indoor bays and a bit outside when it's on a range and they're just looking at launch monitor numbers, <laughs> is they hit the toey dipper Doosh. like Matt's done. I know for a fact if I was playing with Matt and he hit two to toey dippers and we were coming to this hole, this one's now just a little healy cut up yeah. into the middle. Yeah, or, or I'm aiming right. at those bunkers over there. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you see what I mean? He will adjust, but in yeah. here, what we're doing is just trying to go faster and faster each time. Yet we use these numbers to buy clubs and state that something is four yards further or that this shaft is way better than that shaft. It, yeah. It's quite comedy if you think it through. So back foot, but I need to give it a good. You gotta what go did for I it, lose bro. over half a shot? So I need six, to gain yeah, at six, least two, half a shot here. This needs to be absolutely massive. Yeah, because my next one's big. I'm going down the right a bit yeah. more as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thinned it. That's good. That'll work. Hit the fairway. Oh, it's short. Hit the fairway. It's going to be a kick left now. Oh, well, that's a win, though. Yeah, that's a fairway. win on that. That's definitely a win. Keep that's going. Good. That's good. That's a good bad one. Two, eight, two, two, eight to the flag, though. It's the wrong line to take. So you're gaining 0 0.08. He's gaining <sighs> 0 0.08. That's still, it's still retrievable. Yeah, it is. It is still retrievable. A little bit of a top of the maps there. This is not over. Especially We've not even called how many shots we're having, however. <laughs> this could go on for hours. Just one more go. And normally these parts of the video go on until I hit one anywhere near a green that isn't very far away. Look at that, 171 ball. Oh. Woo. Yes. On a little thinny one. Yeah. Eh? I know, and still Three, losing. Three, five, spin. Still losing all those shots. Able to move my toe <laughs> strike though there. Look, and it just went a bit lower instead. Ah, oh, lovely. I'm taking the brave one here. Oh, that sounded good. Go on, ball. Get oh, left. that's a beauty. That's pitching the line. 
Oh, it's long. Oh, it's long. Oh. Get that in there, get that in there. Oh no. Total distance 311, 287 carry, one nine spin. 199 yards to the flag. I'm all about diamonds. If they put four diamonds on here, I reckon I'd go even further. <laughs> <laughs> That's gain 0.29. You're now in the positive. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't think I can catch if we only do one more. Oh, no, we'll do a few more. I'm warming up, sir. <laughs> oh, look at your numbers there. Face to path, 0.2 close, path, 0.3 into out. <laughs> <laughs> Hit my line. <laughs> oh, read Get it and in. weep. But only 160 ball, Matt. You're 170. <laughs> Your spin is 1,000 less than mine. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. I'm Hang on, we're using the same shaft. This can't be right. Yeah. <laughs> Perhaps that's the problem. I haven't got my yellow shaft. It's not counterbalance. It's throwing me off. <laughs> right, I'm going for this one. Wide stance, aim up the right. Oh, it's a toey dipper. That's gonna work. Go on. That's a fake read. That's a horrible one. That's a yes. fake read. <laughs> I'm not putting that in. That's a beauty. That's a that's a fairway ball. Never. Look at that. That's distance to the pin. 179. 179. 179. Fairway. You know that if we do a pole, they'll all want it to count. Perfect line to hit. Gained it. 0.39. So point gets me back. Well, that gets me, that gets me back to within point three of you, I think. Can our, uh, the, the real competition here is can Matt actually gain? That should be the real. Like, I'm not, I'm not expecting to gain because my distance is, you know, I my one sixty ball speed. If I'm gaining on a torpor, I have to be like properly pushing hard and fairway fine and not me. making a mistake. Yeah, Matt has every right to gain yeah because you have 170 in you quite easily like that's a dodgy strike again isn't and it? a dodgy Ball speed 165 <laughs> club head speed 119 yeah getting up there right we've totaled up we're going to do two more shots which is five drives i think isn't it yeah and matt is minus what i'm minus 0.15 and you're plus 0.15 so 0.3 in it oh <laughs> Right, here we go. Strike, strike, strike. Toe. Oh, oh, it's oh. worked. Get left. Don't hit the rough. Get left, get left, get left. Oh, it's fairway. Oh. No. Oh, yes. <laughs> it's a horrible toe. <clears throat> it's fairway. Gain of 0. 0.12. Oh, he just keeps gaining. <laughs> so you're now plus <laughs> two seven. Oh, God. <laughs> <coughs> You're going to need to hit the green here, bro. <laughs> well, you say that. Two more gains like I just did on my last and one. And I could easily tow E1 into the water. So could I. Yeah. <laughs> Can I get a 120 club? Yeah, go 170 on. ball. Yeah. Bomb. Oh, oh no, it's a rough. Oh, that's in the garden. That's going to hit the path. Path ball. Hit the bush. Hit the path. Hit the bush. And it's in the garden. He's out of bounds. No. Look at that. 171. Oh. That's a free 10 carry. I don't think we need to hit the last one, but we better. That literally better. just dribble, dribbles the other way in the air. And so you, you do need to now play another shot because that's out of bounds, sir. Free 10 carry, that was. Into someone's garden, off the path. It's so realistic, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, that's, that. oh, you're that's getting a, away with that. I am. That's massive. That is big toe overread again, isn't it? <laughs> King of the overreads. Look at that, 327. <laughs> <laughs> 304 carry. So again, you're losing 0.62. Oh. So I don't think you can catch even if I hit it in the water, but do you want to mark that down? Should we have a final, do you want to double look? Should I say, should we say I've won that one? Yeah, because I'm not going to gain a shot on one shot, am no. I? <laughs> <laughs>
That's impossible. <laughs> Unless that person in the house down there chucks my ball back. <laughs> and or hits a seven iron it further up to the green side. So this one, you have to hit it as hard as you can. All right. And it's a one-off special. I've won. Anyone in the Lockie Army pretending that they've won, do one. Oh. <laughs> no. I didn't draw it. God, that's such a laser, isn't it? I got some speed for me there, but it's the wrong shape. That so that won't kick. actually go any far. Still hit the fairway. Mm -hmm. One, six, three ball. That's good. Yeah. Like if I get that turning. One, four, seven efficiency. Like two, eight, two carry. One, eleven club. That would get up to one, ninety carry if I got my shape. Twenty yeah. loft, you see. I just two, ninety loft. carry. Do you want to put that one in, Matt? Yeah. Yeah, two, ninety carry, sorry. One six three, just a casual one six three ball on a not the best delivery. It's gonna gain. <laughs> you just need to hit it down the left and you'd be gaining loads more. It's gonna gain. Point one six. Uh, have I gained overall? Yeah, you're still going. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Point four three you've gained overall. So basically I need a lot of holes just to grind people down to life. Basically that's you. It is, it totally is. <laughs> right, bomb. That's in the house again, is it? No, no. just draw a little. That'll be fine, it's short of the path. Look it's in how the rough. Long it is. But ah. it's in the rough, so what happens now? 168 ball speed. How far you got left 221, in? 221, so I'm gonna not gain as much as you, even though I've hit it further. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, so you've lost yeah, point 0.10. Yeah, well done. So let's just do the maths on that last one, because people do ask this question a lot. It's a really interesting question, and we'll round up about the club. I mean, I, I love the club. Thanks, I think Mark Brady. It, it's Thanks. a bomber, it's a definite bomber. And I think it'd be interesting uh, to test that with a wider range of golfers, as in it comes with the 75 gram and it's talk proven and all that. But, you know, it's, it's a pretty stable, low spinning-ish driver. Um, why couldn't more people benefit from that? I reckon they could. But um, you've hit yours how far there? Three. So if we look up, this uh, is, look at this, look. Let's do it this way, I think it's really interesting. So. Which club do you want to buy? The one that goes 162 ball speed or the one with 168 ball speed? The one with 24 spin or the one with 21 spin? So you win, you win. Um, and the one that carries 282 or the one that carries 297? Well, you win. Yeah. But I don't. You totally don't. Away. You've lost <laughs> point 10. Well, yeah. And I've gained point 16. I've gained point two, point two six. six of a shot on you there. Yet. We're like, people are talking about these numbers in such fine detail nowadays. You've gained 15 yards there on that one. What do you mean, as in total? Uh, if, if that was a, a fit, you gained 15 yards. Yeah, 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 that, yeah, that's a really good point. Matt's <laughs> last one, lost. on a range, on a foresight <laughs> reading like that, and ones that you see in reviews. Oh, look, this one's better, you've gained X distance. Yeah. Totally out. I've lost point two. And then if you look at the offlineness of both of them, I was eleven right, you were twenty-one right. Twenty-one right is not miles right. No, that's pretty good for me. You you would buy this club. Like yeah. you would buy this club, but you've gone and lost shots on a course because when it comes to product testing, well, I'm gonna do some more videos on this. I just think there's so many holes in custom fitting and the way it's done. And I do think these videos along with others often don't get this message across enough making people think that there are certain gains in this where there totally isn't at the end of the day that's a well-made club it does feel pretty stable yeah like it does feel like we sounds got, as good as you didn't does. hit the water and you hit some towers didn't mm -hmm. you i hit the wall once first one didn't i oh did you yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but you hit two other towers that yeah. you would expect to go and see your yeah. obviously algorithm maybe and obviously it's anecdotal because I've test for that but it feels stable, looks great, sounds great and it is a lower spinning option, it's just not crazy low spin. I, I, I would probably gain that out of the four if I was gaming a road driver. Yeah. Let me know your thoughts and oh, I'm gaming.